So I was sure no, nothing would come of Yoda. And here's Yoda the wise. Who's to say? So who gave you that call? Um, actually, George. Uh... George. George. <laughs> George. And the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, George Lucas, yeah. through his producer, asked Jim, we were doing the Muppet movie in Los Angeles, Jim was obviously too busy and knew he, didn't, he couldn't quite do that. He has in, incredible talents, but this one he couldn't quite handle as much as I could, he felt. And that's how it happened, it was through uh, support of Jim, and then, then I started doing it. So, who, it's, you invented the voice? Yeah. Did no one didn't. Did anyone tell you speak this way? In uh, fact, how could anyone possibly tell you to speak that way? Because no, no one ever uh, spoke that way before. Right. You know why he says that? Why he talks that way? I have no idea. There's always a reason for something. That's. I come to learn that as a scientist. Yeah. You know, my view of it is. First of all, it was uh, Larry and George who wrote it, and I said, "Hey, you know, this is nice. Can I?" It was only they use it halfway, and I said, "Can I do it all the time?" They said, "Yeah." My the way I view it is Yoda is... Uh, this is where like adjectives and nouns are switched in places. I'm not smart enough to know what an adjective or a noun is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the sentence is fully understandable, but clearly from another syntax. Yeah. It's because that's the way the original Jedi spoke. It was a very formal and elegant language. He is now 700, 800 years old at that time. And not unlike the Native Americans trying to keep their language alive, he also is trying to keep the formal Jedi language alive while these surf kids are talking their language. Right. And so he feels a tremendous responsibility to talk that way even though nobody else talks that way. Even though he could probably speak the way everyone else speaks. Right, but he, is, he has the integrity, he, he feels a cultural imperative. Yeah, that's, that's what I believe. Well, you don't have to believe it because you did it, so therefore it is. Yeah, yeah. It is. And, and it, 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 it's a, it, it gives him a dignity and, a, and an integrity that's important to his gravitas. Mm. So, Adam, why, why is Yoda so beloved? Uh, I mean, I think, first of all, the performance that Frank gives is incredible. And it's got, you know, because he's right there actually puppeting the character, you know, there's a real, you know, humanity to the performance. You really connect with it. And then, you know, he starts out this small little creature living yeah. in the in the bog, you know, and he turns out to be this wise, you know, uh, you know, incredibly powerful teacher. That's that contrast is so interesting and funny and stays with you. Charles, you, you where you come at? I think we all want to be Yoda. We all <laughs> somehow feel we are inadequate, perhaps a little ugly, a little short, but within us we have the power to move mountains with just our mind. 